We are currently leaving the Big Beachy Trailhead in the Monongahela National Forest. Going to hit some Middle Fork today and try to find a nice spot next to the river. It is kind of overcast. It's rained on us all the way here, so we're hoping it kind of holds off. We got warnings until 4, but we should be okay. Nice and cool. Got everyone tagging along behind me there. <laughs> Trying out the Hero 9 today. Hopefully I get some front facing footage because I got a little screen to look at. And it's going to be a muddy trip. And I'm wearing my chacos today, so it's going to be interesting. I'm sure the first drop in my feet will get started to this side. One thing I love about this area is the moss, all the ferns, and it's always so green. But it is swampy. Lil Land Angler. I found my stick. No. Oh. What are you doing? Put them on your tank. Okay, we parked here. You have one of those too. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit the north south into Middle Fork and then just find us a spot along the way there. Should be fun. Got a happy crew here. Happy crew. Hey, the man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure it had diarrhea too. <laughs> Up and over. Oh, wait till, wait till he gets up here. We're currently hearing thunder above us, so we're hoping it holds off. Maybe it'll just pass over. We did this trip back in May, and it's grown up quite a lot since then. But can't complain, it's pretty. As long as we stay out of the stinging nettle, we'll be fine.
there are quite a few blowdowns around this trail, but luckily, they're pretty easy to get around. Now the Middle Fork Trail that we're going to be taking was an old logging rail line. So it's nice and flat. There is an elevation change, but it's really gradual. So it's not too bad coming up or down. We did find some old ruins and some coal and coke left over. And of course the old fashioned wash pans. So that, we thought that was pretty cool. Did some research, didn't find much, although this land was taken by the state after fighting to preserve it because of everything around here and all the native species that are kind of only rare to this area. So the loggers didn't destroy it, they turned it into a preserve. And now we have the National Forest. But as you increase and go kind of down the mountain, you'll see it turn from the lovely pine trees that we see now, the conifers, and you'll get some more like oaks and maples as we get closer to the river. Try not this cool little GoPro arm I got. Now I can see you and talk to you as I'm walking. Got everybody behind me there. You can see everybody in action. We're currently still on the North Fork Trail, I do believe. Don't quote me on that. I'll check it when I get down here to the little junction. But a couple miles to get to the junction where we go on the Middle Fork, where it branches off. But it's nice and flat. Not too bad. And I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like it's about dark. It is three o'clock. We have heavy clouds over us and rumbling of thunder in the distance. But it makes for an awesome, cool journey. I'm not complaining because it was over 90 degrees the last time we were here and we all burn up. Is that right? Yes. How's everybody doing back there? The stuff. Hey, weather forecaster, what's it doing? It's trying to rain. What's it going to do next, like, hour or so? We're going to die. <laughs> also, flapping land anglerfish. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a quick little topic while we're walking. We are in the lovely national forest that nobody likes to pronounce. It's pronounced in multiple ways and how everybody just crams it together. I pronounce it Monongahela. I don't know. How do you guys pronounce it? Monongahela? Monongahela, yeah. <laughs> but it's been pronounced Mon Monongahela, Monongahela, Monongahela. It's got all kinds of names. But however you pronounce it, enjoy it. It's a nice place. There's our thunder. Manningalia. Manningalia. Yeah, I've heard that before. But we're in the Cranberry Wilderness part. And being a wilderness, nothing's marked. None of the trails are marked. So make sure you always have a map, GPS, compass, all that good stuff. Quite easy to get lost. Nothing's blazed. Every once in a while, you'll see a ribbon marker that someone has tied on a tree kind of help you out if it's really thick. Lots of cairns. The rock cairns have saved us quite a few times. This one is particularly washed out in a lot of places from floods. So always be aware of your surroundings. And the temperature change. And the temperature change. We went from 70 degrees, nice and sunny, to 33 degrees, snowing, sleet, rain. And we all got hypothermia. So be prepared for anything in this place. Lost my screen there. All right, I'm pretty sure you've seen enough of me hiking for now, so I'm gonna kill this one and switch around to the front view. Kind of going into a pine tree tunnel here. <laughs> oh, God. 
open, back open. Isn't that cool? What's better than birds chirping, thunder rumbling, getting soaking wet from all the tree limbs smacking you in the face? Yeah, see, he's behind me, and I'm knocking off all the limbs, and then he, it's not getting on him. Spider webs, though. Spider face. webs. He's getting spider webs because he's taller than me, but it's a plus. It's nice being shorter. Benny's at the back. It's fine. Yeah, Vinny's all the way in the back. She's got the spider stick. We got another section of pine trees coming up on both sides. It's really neat to walk through. Check that out. This is what we like to call the Mortal Kombat Forest look. For all you geeky fans out there, I don't know if you remember when the first movie, The Battle with Scorpion. Who fought him? Johnny. Johnny Cage. Who got him? <laughs> but yeah, it always reminds us of that scene where the trees are in line. So like I'm walking on pine needles and it's like sinking. So it's like spongy when you walk really on it. Spongy, yeah. That's really it's actually layers. comforting. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. It feels good on the feet. Good God. This is the infamous bog that you got to kind of use a tree to get across. There's actually water running in it today. Okay, so. <laughs> so, my feet are being submerged in smucky, junky water right now. So, that's a thing. And my butt's wet. <laughs> my butt's wet. Oh, my butt's what? At least you didn't sit down. What? North Fork. I was right. See, boom, right there it is. Oh, this is nasty. We're going on the middle fork. Okay, yeah, now we're going to zoom in on Vinny. Oh. 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 They're waterproof, so you get them in the net. Mine, yeah. mine are waterproof, too. Yeah. The best kind, though. Heather, it's up waterproof. Yep. Oh, well, I haven't got holes in them. <laughs> And onward. Oh my God. <laughs> you just seen that happen, didn't I you? I did. I watched all that. Uh, well, I just lost my right foot in something. I'm not quite for sure what it was. I, that one came out of nowhere. It looked solid and it was a trick. <laughs> Currently slinging mud out from my feet. Like I'm not complaining, I got my sandals, but the mud between your toe, refreshing nature thing. <laughs> oh, laughing at myself. 
So we have quite a little ways to go on this trail, but we'll slowly start to decline and you'll kind of see a river small at first form on the left hand side and then we'll be crossing over it quite a few times. I think there's seven crick crossings all together, but we're not going to go through all seven. Which is why I wore the sandals. I had my shoes on and off last time and that's just annoying. I didn't want wet feet either. I can't believe how dark it is. It's currently 310 and it looks like it is 7 at night. Hey Vinny, how's this hiking trip? <laughs> hey look, it's bright again. Watch your step there. Whew. Huh? Like, I'm getting wet because of the trees, like, on me. Hey, look, there's our other campsite. Hey, look, Paul, yeah. <laughs> so we kind of gave up on staying dry so we're just kind of walking through it <sighs> smacking at me in the face Fun and slick. That move. No.
cool. The walk over. Look at that rock over there. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Actually. Yeah, I do too. It's really cool. It's still raining, by the way. Mm -mm. No. No. That one was about seven miles in. I don't really want to hike seven miles. I don't want to pop you in the head with that. Worst part about hiking this trail is all the rocks. Can you slip and tumble and twist ankles and and the daylight keeps going in and out, so it's a little bit hard to keep track of where the trail is to a certain extent. But we finally made it to where the stream is, so that's a plus. Okay. And we're still hiking in the rain. Had a nice good uh, lightning strike and some thunder there a second ago. We're currently trying to find a nice campsite for all of us to be able to fit into comfortably. That's next to this river over here. been a lot of debris in the trail, save for the storms we've been having lately too. This wasn't here the last time we came through. But as soon as we find a nice spot to stop for the night, we're going to chill and relax at a campsite. Things gonna be wet, but we'll deal. Oh, the dreaded rhododendrons soaking wet. Oh. I think that's the worst part about hiking in the rain. It's not the rain itself, it's the leaves you're going through. Oh, that's not the trail. That over there is. Look at this mess. Oh, this is blackberries and rhododendron I'm hiking through. Okay. This is nice and quaint. Look at this tunnel. You can see it on the screen. Get ready for a boom. There it is. That was a good one.
That air is actually cool. Yeah, it's not too bad. Slipping and sliding. No one's witness to fall down. That's giant raindrops too. <laughs> Wet leaves. Man, that's what I'm getting soaked from is the leaves. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous trail though.
So we're on day two. We had to wrap it up early last night due to the thunderstorms and the rain and everything was soaking wet. So I was over here. They were over there and the other two are still sleeping. But we got everything packed up and we're starting our breakfast this morning. The wind's kind of gusty, so we're trying to find a nice spot to get out of it. It's not too bad right here, but... And it's still cloudy. It's supposed to be nice today, but it looks like it's going to rain again. We have for breakfast. <laughs> Coffee? Yes. <clears throat> All right, as soon as we get kind of warmed up here and get some food in our bellies, I'll do a walk around at the camp. There's a nice little waterfall over there, and I'll show everybody what's going on. All right, give you a little walk around of the campsite. There's our lovely fire ring that we had last night, and we're right next to the Middle Fork River. And if we come down here, got a nice little set of falls. Look at that. That's awesome. Get a better grip of my phone here. And believe it or not, this might be off and ambient noise for sleeping, but it kind of gets super loud and annoying after a while, but we still enjoy it. So we had a nice little camp spot here, it wasn't too bad, and we enjoyed it even though it rained most of the time, but we did let off. So, I'm going to eat my breakfast and finish up, get the other two out of bed and get them going, and I will see you guys back in the trail. I got that on film. Okay. We're back on the trail, about a mile in from where we camped last night. We're heading back to the Jeep, taking our time and stopping and photographing the stream next to us. It's pretty nice. Nice little sets of falls all along it. It's a lot better hiking this out without the pouring rain.
nice little spot. I seen a bunch of them yesterday. Well, before the storm hit. Huh? I seen some yesterday before the storm hit. William's favorite part's coming up. Get everybody comfort. Okay. Especially got to film Pulliam. You backbended. really neat, isn't it? <laughs> Nature.
Hi. Hi. The benefit of wearing sandals. The non-benefit of wearing sandals is the mud squishing between your toes. We've got about two more miles to go before we get back to the vehicle. We've been kind of taking our time and enjoying ourselves. If we stop and see something, we take a snack, take some pictures, enjoy it. That's what you're out here doing this for. There's a moss all over everything. So pretty. Now, Middle Fork Trail is going to kind of gradually cause us to incline to reach the top of the mountain where the parking lot's located and i'm winded i'm out of shape as always but uh no these rocks are turmoil on your feet and your legs and your ankles so it's kind of been a slow pace to make sure we don't break any break or twist anything We're kind of venturing away from the river right now. It's to the right of us. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away and get through this rocks because I've got more coming up ahead. And I'll record some later. stretch now almost a mile away from the Jeep I and took a snack break and slowly starting the rest of our incline but good news the Sun came out All right yep no more rain no more cold no more rain no more cold
then he said it's still cold. Then he said it's still cold. My favorite spot of this trail is the trail junction. No matter where you step, it's smushy. Okay, so. <laughs> Step on the trees as much as I can. <coughs> you shoe. Mine is good. So nasty. My poor feet. Part. I think we need to go over. Maybe. Nope. I think it's worse today than what it was last time. Mm. Yeah, it's just gonna have to go with it. The grass kind of deters it from happening. Mm. That helps out. There's Big Weechi and sign for the Highland Sydney Power.
always a sight for sore eyes, huh? Mm -hmm. Ta da! So to wrap it up, as we're hiking back to the Jeeps, we got stuck in a thunderstorm, got soaking wet and drenched, covered in mud, had to quick set up camp for the night, didn't get to really film anything the rest of the day because of the weather. We kind of bedded down, it dropped down into the 40s at night, so we all froze to death, even with our blankets and stuff. But today turned out to be a pretty awesome day. Cold when we woke up, but it's beautiful blue sky now. So Vinny, how do you rate this trip? Oh, um, 10 out of 10. I don't really care about the weather. It's 10 out of 10. Yeah. Pretty interesting hiking in a storm, huh? Well, I mean, you can't really... It was cool, you don't really know the weather, so it does... Yeah, it is It was cool. still nice and warm, but it was just raining on a slope, you know. It wasn't too bad. I think that when we got low in the camp spot, it cooled. That was what was cool, yeah. those heat rises. Yeah. And you had that flowing water. Yeah, the yeah, water was pretty water. cool. But every time we camp here, we live with a much better spirit. Yeah, the first time was terrible, second time good. This was actually great. This is a different experience, I guess. Yeah. You can't have good times without bad times. So you heard her. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend trying out. We're now back at the Big Beachy Trailhead. We hiked the North Fork Trail to the Middle Fork Trail. We put about six miles in before we camp. And finally made it back to the vehicles.